In this lesson, let us try to draw this uh, uh, exercise number 6. This seems to be a milling cutter. He has given us all the dimensions along with the lines. Now here you can see that we have got what the maximum size is 120. Okay. So our drawing paper, the limits can be fixed between 00, 0 and 150, 150. That is more than enough for us. This is point number 1. And point number two is what? Here you can see these lines are all repeating, is it not? So this milling cutter tooth is repeating. How many tooth, uh, teeth are there? Just see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me count it again. I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So what can I do? I can make use of polar array. I can make use of polar array and I can create. Now there is one more line here at an angle of 4 degree. Okay, 4 degree from the vertical. In AutoCAD by default, direction east is taken as what? 0. So from here if I take from 0 to 90, I have to go plus another 4. So from horizontal it is 94. Okay. With vertical, it is only 4 degrees. Let us remember these things. Now let us go to our software. Now let us open a new file. Just click here. We have opened a file. Type limits, L-I-M-I-T-S, limits. Let's type it. So first limit is what? 0, comma, 0, enter. The next limit is 150, comma, 150, enter. Now press Z, enter, E, enter. So now your screen is fixed. Now let me just go over here to center and diameter. What is my first diameter? First diameter is 120. Okay. 120 and then let me draw that 120 first. 120. Okay. So I am here. Now I need to create the axis that is dashed dot line. So what I will do first I will create a layer. Okay. I will create a new layer by going to layer control manager. I am clicking here. A new layer is created. I will call it as what I will call it as what axis A X I S. Okay. Now let me come and give the color. What color I need? Let me change the color to green. Done. What should be the line type? As of now, it is continuous. Let us change it. Now let us go and load dash dot this line long dash short dash let's load this one okay and we will select that as our line type done you can see it is already showing over here <coughs> now let me go back let me go back so i will create one more layer i will create one more layer i will call it as cutter c u t t e r the actual cutter understand Actual cutter I will create on this layer. So what color I want? See the line type it has copied from the previous. No, I don't want. I will take it as continuous. I will change the color also. I will make the color as yellow. Okay. Fine. Good. So now I have done it. Right now my layer is what? My layer is zero. Let me change it to axis. I will double click on this. Now I am on axis layer. Okay. Now what I have to do, I have to draw a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. See here, you have got one axis here, you have got another axis here, isn't it? So now I will go back, I will draw from where, I will select quadrant. Let me just go tick on quadrant here. See here, I am ticking on quadrant. Now I will come back. So on which layer I am on axis layer because I made it current layer. Now see here, I will just go up, type and click, ortho, click here, enter. See you have one line from this corner. Let me come here like this to this corner. I have another line. Okay. Now what I will do, I will ha I have to draw one line here. See, I have to draw a line at an angle of four degrees from the vertical. Okay. So from the horizontal means this angle from here to here it will be 90 plus 4, 94. 94 from where? From here. Okay. What should be the length? I will just draw a long length. No need to worry about it because it is only a construction line. I will just go back to AutoCAD. 
I will change the layer to what? I will change the layer to 0 because it is my construction layer. I will double click it. So that is my current layer. Okay. Now I will draw a line. The line command from where? From this point. How I have to go? It is going vertical. Don't worry. Let it go. Or even you can remove ortho mode. You switch off. It is moving like this. Let it go this way. Let me keep it here. Don't press enter. Press tab. You see here 124.8385 it is showing and then angle is showing as 99 is it not just press tab when you press tab you shifted toward angle see there it is showing me 99 how much I want I want 94 type 94 enter now see here you are into the command now escape now you have a line over here okay so now what I will do now, let me go back to my picture and see here I have got a line of how much length I have got a line of 4, I mean 5, okay I have got a line of 5 and then here there is a circle I have to draw, the diameter of the circle is how much 95. So let me do these two things, I will draw a circle of diameter how much? 95 and then I will offset my center line I will offset where is offset offset is here offset by how much offset by through it is telling me Hamsa I will type 5 enter which one I should offset this one towards this side okay I have offset escape now I have done my job so what is the next thing I need now I need to draw the milling cutter is it not first let me change my layer to double click go to cutter layer double click I am on the cutter layer now so that the color of the line will be yellow it will be continuous line everything will be written now let us zoom this one here I will draw a line from where from this point to the intersection of this if intersection is not there please go to object snap and select intersection okay I will just come and click here enter see there the color is already yellow color so now let me pan zoom out and zoom in now let me just go here let me draw a line from where from this point to the intersection of this okay shabab enter now I have got want I will enter Z enter E enter to fix it to my screen now I have got this yellow line and one more inclined yellow line here. This how many times I need to rotate. See here I need to rotate it by 10 times and my base point will be this center. Okay. So I will go here. I will go see here you see array. Where it is it is located in modify panel of our ribbon. Okay. If you see there is a small arrow here open this you will see polar array because I have to rotate it take polar array. Now what is telling my cursor has changed its shape it is telling select objects go and select this object go and select this object okay we selected two objects now enough these are the only two let me press enter. Now it is asking me specify center point of array how you want to rotate this is the point is it not let me just go remove this midpoint I don't want midpoint okay quadrant also no need now now just go here see it is catching on the center click on this the moment you click it by default it has rotated to how many parts six parts okay see now the ribbon has also changed here you can see here number of items then angle between items now do I want to rotate it for 360 all this information is present here we have a video on our YouTube channel for array command also a small video if you see that all the information is mentioned there how to rotate it and all these things are displayed there I mean explained there now let me go here and type it as how much I will type it as 10 when I type it as 10 and enter now see here I have created 10 pieces all yellow color why yellow color because we have created it on layer layer 
better see here now what i will do i have to just go back here and see from here to here i have to join that's all and then again rotate that 10 times now i will go back i will draw a line from where from this corner to this corner see here enter now i have this line so what i will do now i will just go to polar array again click on this one enter where is my center point be careful don't take this that was offset line click on this one now how many are there don't be afraid because it is showing wrong why because here default value is 6 go and change it to 10 enter now come this side that's it your job is done now let's go back to home now what do you need do you really need to keep this line you don't need to keep this line let me just change the layer go back to zero layer and you have what the white color you can just make it light gray or something like that just to show that there was something existing okay fine now see the color has changed further if you want to reduce you can reduce it also let me just go here to make it up still right close it did not take this line and this line okay both of them you click them right click it go to properties your force fully changing line type is there line weight is there where is the color just see the color by layer is there just click on this one open it just go down select color select color two colors you can just okay somewhere here i will go in the index itself let me take this close it escape you see here still the color looks like that leave it at that so if i want i can just delete them if i want but i will keep them right now do i need to have this line i don't need just click on this and then erase it okay now i need to make dimensions i need to oh before that i have to make a circle inside what is the diameter of the circle 56 okay 56 is the diameter of the circle so where should i do i should be on cutter layer be careful go here select cutter layer close it draw a circle 56 enter okay now what else i need now i need a keyway see here there is a keyway what is the distance from here to here it is 60 right it is 60 from here to here let me just go and draw that one 60 how do we do it take line first point don't tell the first point here use no temporary tracking tk enter it is asking me specify first point of tracking from here you come like this 16 okay press enter now do you want to be there no i don't want to be there just go up no problem so i, I want to be there only enter now how much is the line make it ortho on so vertical like this just go and see here what is the height this is sitash and 16 i need half of it tamanya okay so i will go up like this i will write tamanya enter now come like this and just put it somewhere here click enter okay now let us zoom little bit what i need to do i need to make mirror for this one is it not if i make mirror it will be on the other side i will just go to mirror command mirror click this object before making mirror let me cut and remove this i don't need this use trim delete delete this okay escape now let us make mirror select objects make group selection enter which is your first point of mirror line this is your first point of mirror line where is your second point of mirror line this one enter see you already did it so now you have use trim command 
get rid of this one get rid of this one okay Enter. now your job is also completely done now so what is the next job now the next job is to make the dimensions let's go to layer properties manager let's create a new layer with the name dimension dim okay and let us make dimension as our current layer how can you do it by double clicking on that layer you will see a tick mark here now what is the color the color is yellow i don't want yellow let me change yellow color so i will take it as one cyan <coughs> close it now let us just go to dimensions we already have videos showing you how to do dimensions dimension styles you can watch that diameter i will click on this circle see it is giving me the diameter how much 120 again press space bar you are back into the command click on this one you will have it i will put it here okay very close then again space bar on this one see if i want to keep it 56 just keep it here then what else i need i need the distance between this point and this point see this is how much pi then what else I need? I need angle. Just go here, change from diameter to angle, angular, between this line and this line. So, let's put it here. See, 4. Then, linear dimension from where? From here to here. Sitash. And then what else you need? From this point to this point. Make it a little big. Too many lines are there. Select from where? From here to here. Show. Sure. Put it down. 15. Okay. Now Z enter E enter. Sorry, first escape. Then Z enter E enter. See all your drawings are there. Okay. If you don't want these lines, if they are bothering you, just go here, delete them. No need. Okay. Everything is gone now. Finished. Your cutter is completely ready. Now what I need to do, I need to make a layer, a new layer I will make it. I will call it as text layer, TXT. What color I give? I will just go and give the color as something blue doesn't work. I don't know. Let me just go for this color, something mixed color. Any color you can have. Okay. I will just go to now. Single line text. Click here. The height right now. Default height is 2.5. Make it 15. Enter. Angle is also 0. Enter. So it's looking too big. Exercise. Exercise number. What is this exercise number? Exercise number 6. Right. 6. I will type here, I will say milling cutter. Okay. This seems to be too big. Just escape, click on this one, double click. Now I will just change, go to properties, change the size. What is the height? Height is 15. Let us just make it. I think uh, 5 should be okay. Yeah, 5 is 5. Okay, now I escape. What shall I do here? I will remove this one. I will delete the whole thing and I will redo it. Wait. I can just go here and then again I can say single line text, click here, text height is how much, 15, I will make it 5, enter horizontal, then I will say the size number 6, I will give space, link, cut, okay. Now you can center it where you want by using the move command, you can, you can, you, sorry, first I need to escape out of the command I have to come click it wherever you want you can keep it okay Shabab, this is the way we do this one thank you very much for watching this video